This video will focus on being able to answer questions about a line plot. So here's our line plot. And then uh, one thing I want to talk about is the title of any type of graph. Uh, for here, it's the title of the line plot. But for any graph, you always want to look at the title. You want to look at uh, what your x-axis, if you had a y-axis, you want to look at what those are labeled as well to help you understand the graph or the table. So Sam's studying hours. And then these are the number of hours that Sam spent studying the different times. So each X represents a different time he studied and for the length of time he studied. So now we're gonna look at some questions and um, read through these questions and answer them based off this line plot. So how many times does Sam document his studying time? I do wanna urge you to try to read the questions um, on your own. If you're struggling with that, maybe break it down, read, read a couple of words or a sentence at a time. If you need to draw pictures, stop and think about what words mean. If you're still struggling, then definitely reach out and get somebody to help you read the word problem. All right, so how many times did Sam document his studying time? So like I said just a minute ago, you are, want to count these X's because that's every different time that he studied. So I can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. You definitely want to check yourself and recount it twice to make sure. Another way that you could count this is using some of your skip counting skills. I know that 3 and 3 is 6, and then 8, 10, 12, 13. So how many times did Sam document his studying time? That would be 13 times. All right, another question is how long did Sam study all together? All right, so if he studied all together, that basically means that each one of these, we need to take each one of these X's and uh, you know, kind of look at the relationship with the number, and we need to combine those. And so anytime we're combining numbers, we're going to be adding. Now we're not gonna multiply, and the reason we're not gonna multiply is we're not combining equal groups. These are all different amounts of groups, so we would need to add here. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and written down all these uh, times of studying. You can see I have two and a half, two and a half, two threes, three and a half, three times, two fours, four and a half, three times, and then five. All right, so one way to do this is to really kind of look at just my fractions, first of all. I know that these two halves make a whole. I know that these two halves make another whole. These two halves make a whole and these two halves make a whole. So now I have four holes that I'm going to uh, kind of remember there, okay? And I could add it at the top here if I wanted to. So um, now I can look and think that I have one, two, three, four, five, six fours, which is 24, okay? So I've used all those up. I've got three, six, nine, 12, 15. If I add all those threes up, that's 15. Two, four. And then I have a five here. So I know that this five and this five gives me 10. And 10 plus four and four is going to give me 18. Carry my 10. And that is going to be four tens. One, three, four, four tens. So how long did Sam study all together? He studied for 48 hours. That's a long time, isn't it? Go Sam. All right. What is the difference between the longest time Sam spent studying and the shortest time? All right, so the longest time he spent studying would be the five hours. The shortest time he spent would be two and a half. He didn't study any time for two hours. It was two and a half or more. So I'm only going to subtract um, two and a half from five. So I've set that up here. Now remember, I cannot take a half from nothing. There's nothing there. So I have to regroup. I have to go to my whole number and imagine that these are five holes, okay? And I'm going to regroup one of the holes and so I'm gonna take this hole and I'm gonna move it over here, but I'm gonna uh, break it in half. So it is going to be two halves, okay? So, cause that's really a hole, there's my four holes, that gets me back to my five holes. So a half from two, or from two halves is gonna be one half, and then two holes taken away from four holes will leave me with two holes. So what is the difference between the longest time Sam spent studying and the shortest time would be two and a half hours. Make sure we always put our units. How many times did Sam study three hours or longer? 
All right, how many hours does Sam study three hours or longer? Well, I wanna find three hours. So three hours or longer means I include the three hours and everything past it. So how many times did he do that? He did it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven times. Another way that we could count that is kind of what we did earlier. I see three, six, eight, ten, eleven. And our last question, how many times did Sam study less than three hours? All right, so I'm gonna look back up my graph. Now this time it does not include the three. Remember it says less than three. So I don't wanna count anything three or above. I wanna count everything below the three. So he studied two times less than three hours. All right, so I hope this video helped you understand how to take uh, some questions and answer them based off of the data that you're looking at. Um, you are going to now try that on your own.